Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. It's Goose coming at you with a guide for all you Flux node operators out there who are looking to migrate out of the full node wallet into Zellcore. Now, the great news here is that the team has been working hard on making it possible for us to do this so that we can pretty much grandfather the old full node wallet thing and just store your collateral in any of the Flux addresses in Zellcore. And then from there, you'll be able to control your nodes and you'll be able to monitor your nodes pretty much from any device that you can use to log into Zellcore. So let's get started. Let's start by opening up Zellcore, logging in, and then opening up our full node wallet. Now that we're inside our full node wallet, all we have to do is delete the existing nodes, and then that will free up the collateral so we can move it to a new address. And to do this is very simple. Where it says flux nodes, just go ahead and hit the three dots, and then click on delete. And of course it says here you're about to delete Flux node, in my case Cumulus 02, from the configuration file, your full node will restart to apply changes and unlock Flux node amount. So then you click Yes, Delete Flux node. After you type in your password and reload the wallet, then you take a look at the right hand side and you'll see that the node that we deleted is gone. So there's no more Cumulus 02. And the amount is now available here in the middle. I have privacy mode on right now, so you can't see my balance, but uh, if you don't have privacy mode on, you'll see that full collateral amount is now available to send. And simply, all you have to do is send that exact amount to one of your Light Wallet addresses in Zellcore. So let me show you how to do that. Just click on Send, type in your D2FA, and verify. And then from here, on the destination address, you just hit the little down arrow and scroll down to where it says my light addresses. Now these are all attached to your account that you use to log into Zellcor. So we have main, mining, purchasing, and a few others. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose mining here because that seems to make the most sense. And then for the amount, we'll type in 10,000. And then you want to make sure that this amount is exactly the amount that you need for the collateral. So if you're running a Cumulus node like this, it's exactly 10,000. If you're running a Nimbus node, it's 25,000. Or for a Stratus node, it is 100,000. Uh, you, you can't have multiple transactions adding up to. It has to be a single transaction for the exact amount. And once that single transaction for the exact amount is registered on the blockchain, then Zellcore will know that this address is controlling a Flux node. After you sent your transaction, you can close your full node wallet and come back over here to Zellcore. And then let's check on the status of our transaction. Remember, we sent it to our mining wallet. So I'll click on mining and then we'll click on Flux. And here we can see at the bottom that our transaction did come through. We got a little check mark, which means it's confirmed, but it only has seven confirmations. And this is the thing. We need to have 100 confirmations before we can start our node again. So remember, the block time is around two minutes per block. So you do the math and it's going to be a few hours. OK, so just be patient with this process. In the meantime, uh, we can do a little preliminary setup over here in the app menu. So on the left hand side, click on the apps icon and then click on flux nodes. Once the app loads up, then you'll see the map of all the different nodes around the world. And what we're going to focus on is down here at the bottom where it says my flux nodes. We need to do a, a little update to the information that's here so that we can tell Zellcore which node is ours. So just click the little down arrow here. And it already has some information, which is our address and the transaction ID for our collateral. It also shows you the number of uh, confirmations, so you can double check it there if you like. But what we're going to do is click on the Edit button here. And we're going to add a couple of things. First, we're going to put in our name. So we'll call this Cumulus01. We're going to put in the IP address for our node, and you can find that simply just by 
going over here to the login page for your Flux address and then just select this right here. Copy that. And then Control V, paste it right there. Okay, and then the last piece of information that's very important is your private key. You want to click on this so that you can copy it. And what we're going to have to do is edit the conf file on our Flux node so that we change the private key that's in that file over to this new private key, okay? And that's how Zellcore will create a secure connection between our wallet and the Flux node. All right, so let me show you how to do that. This next part is Pretty crucial. If you don't do this, you won't be able to get your node to start, okay? We have to go into our Flux node configuration on the node itself. So that means we're going to have to log in using our favorite terminal program. So if you're on Windows, that might be PuTTY or maybe it is Xterm. And if you're on Linux, then you can just open up a terminal and SSH into your Linux box. And once you're there, uh, all you have to do is move over to the Flux folder, uh, which is uh, cd space dot flux. And then once you're here, uh, I'll just use nano, it's basic enough. Uh, nano space flux dot conf, C-O-N-F. Hit enter. Okay. And there's two things we got to change here, maybe three, but usually two. It's the Zell node private key and the Zell node out point. All right, so the private key, just delete all of these letters and numbers after the equal sign. And we'll jump back over to Zellcore. And you see where that says private key? Click that, and then you can right click, and that will paste it in here. All right, and then underneath of it, we have our Zell node out point, which is our transaction ID for the collateral. So we'll just go ahead and delete this. All right. Go back over to Zellcore and then click on that. Collateral TXID and right click or Control Shift V to paste that. And then the last one to check is this Zell node index equals zero. In most cases, it will be a zero. See how output index is zero. Okay. And if that's all good, then we Control S to save, Control X to exit. And of course, the next thing is very important is you can either restart your Zellcache daemon or you can just reboot the node. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do here is use system control to restart zellcache.service. I should sudo, yeah, sudo that. Oh, there we go. And that will now restart the daemon uh, and this way, the handshake will be able to happen between Zellcore wallet that we just set up and this particular node. Over here on our edit window, we can just go ahead and click on save. Great, let's review what we just did. First, we added a name for our node, Cumulus01. We added the IP address, so now the wallet knows which node to look for. And the wallet already determined by the collateral that we sent what type of node it is. The tier is Cumulus. And of course, the status is offline. That's offline because we don't yet have 100 confirmations and we haven't started it. So once we reach 100 confirmations on this transaction, then a button will appear here where we can click start. And if you want to keep track of that, then just click on the show and explore button. That'll take you to your web browser where you can kind of follow along with the number of confirmations that you're receiving. Once again, every two minutes or so, we have a new block on the Flux blockchain. So um, you're going to be in there for a few hours. But uh, as soon as that's done, we'll come back and we'll get this node started. Okay, let's have some fun. One of the best updates to Zellcore is now the ability for us to control our Flux nodes using a mobile device. Now, you can check your node status anywhere in the world just by logging in, right? So here I have my Android device and let's go ahead down into our mining wallet and click on Flux. And what I want to show you here is how uh, we set this up using our desktop wallet, right? But 
now here I am in the mobile wallet and it already says right here locked in flux nodes 10,000 flux so it already knows that we have a cumulus node staked if you will on that particular address all right so uh, how do we control it from the mobile app well you just same as before we click on the app icon here scroll down to flux nodes give this a minute to boot up and oh there you go already it says my flux nodes and cumulus and offline is it still offline but we're gonna have to update this one just like we did on our desktop device okay so go ahead click the down arrow here click the edit button and now you're gonna want to add a name for it so first of all we can type in cumulus 01 and then we can go ahead and put in our IP address one more time go ahead and select that copy all right there we go so now that that's there click on save and everything is as it needs to be okay and this will stay offline until we hit that 100 confirmation mark we're already at 24 so we're quarter of the way there okay I've waited the amount of time that I need to make sure that we got enough confirmations and I just wanted to show you what Zellcor will do in the meantime now that we've registered our node in the flux node app and given it a name and an IP address and everything down in the bottom right corner of Zellcor it's giving us this little warning saying that this flux node is not confirmed and then if we go over to our flux OS make sure you log in here with your Zell ID and everything but once you're here then you'll see that the flux is not confirmed okay now let's double check our confirmations to make sure we have enough so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my mining wallet flux and then take a look here yes confirmations are 113 all right we need 100 minimum so we should be good to go so let's go on over here to the flux node app so on the left hand menu click on apps and then click on flux nodes once the app loads we'll see the node down in the bottom list here so we click the down arrow we got our confirmations here and then we've got now a start button so all we have to do is click the start button and before we start our node we want to make sure that the benchmarks are where they need to be if they're not there's a possibility that you could be put on the DOS list the denial of service list and that would mean you're you're gonna have to wait another hundred confirmations before you can start your node again so make sure you double check your benchmarking status now to do that we'll just uh, click on flux os here or uh, i've already got mine pulled up so you get to your node front end make sure you logged in with your zell id and then click on benchmark here on the left hand side followed by benchmarks and then get status okay so our status is online that's good benchmarking is cumulus that's the tier that we're using and flux says connected so everything looks good here let's go on back over to Zellcore and click on start okay it says successfully started flux node and now it's giving us a status of starting and the message here says the transaction to start your flux node was sent successfully it will take one block to be mined for your flux node status to change to started and then between one and ten blocks to get confirmed confirmed is the final status you can check on flux os by refreshing the home page if the node gets confirmed it will say on the status page flux is working correctly or you can stay on here zelcor checks for a status update every minute so we can just leave it on this window here uh, until it gets confirmed or we can just go ahead and close this and go over here to the website click on home all right and notice that this says flux has just been started and within two to ten more confirmations we should see it go confirmed okay and for fun let's check out the mobile app and to do that we're going to just go into the flux nodes app here so on the bottom menu click the little um, app icon 
and then scroll down to flux nodes and give this a couple seconds to boot up all right so looks like we're already confirmed guys and if you click the down arrow here you can see the information uh it says right here we added it at uh, this block height ending in 806 so that means that this is when we started it and then right here it says confirmed height at 809 and back over here in the desktop version you can see it's also confirmed same information here same block heights and now you can start earning rewards if you want to double check your flux front end just go over here to this and refresh that we can see the status says flux is working correctly so it looks like there's a green light across the board and now you can enjoy your mining rewards and that's it guys this is a total game changer i hope you're as excited as i am about this because migrating out of the full node wallet and into zelcor's light addresses is going to make it so much easier for us to track and monitor our nodes you just pull up the flux node app you can track your rewards and then you can also start your nodes as needed so if you have other nodes, just repeat the same process for each node. I would recommend doing it one at a time so they don't mix up any IP addresses or anything like that. And something else you can do, which is really cool, is you can send your collateral to the same wallet address. So you can put all of your node staked collateral in the single address and Zelcor will interpret it just the same. So this way, if you want to keep all of your mining rewards in the mining wallet, just Send everything to that one address and you'll be in good shape. So if you have any other questions, guys, check us out on Discord or you can check out our website. I'll leave links down in the description. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.